Hi YouTube family, a pleasant good Friday night to each and every one of you. I wish everybody a happy weekend ahead. Today we're going to make Edo a superstar and for those of you who are not sure what Edo is, in some country they're called taro. It's a ground provision and it's very very rich in iron and I'm going to show you what it looks like in the inside. It's very very similar to a potato so this is the top and this is how i peel mine and when it's nice and white like this you know that it's a good one we do not always get very nice edos here in canada most of the time they're very small and when we see big ones like this we're very excited i know my edo friend Risa is going to be very excited about this recipe it is a very old recipe. So when I was growing up, we lived on an island in Guyana called Wakanam, and we had lots of edos in our backyard. And my mom used to make edos in different ways for us. And I'm so happy that she did because it's very nutritious and it is something that I really enjoy now, but I don't get get nice ones all the time so she made for us when we were younger edo ball like how you make cassava ball or potato ball and she made um the, the egg ball version and the plain edo ball i'm gonna make this three different ways today i'm gonna make the cheesy edo ball i'm gonna make the regular edo ball and i'll try to do one with the egg to show all my YouTube friends and family. If you wanna enjoy the Edo in different ways, these are some of the ways you can do so. So this one here is done. And when you're peeling Edo, I will encourage you to use a gloves. I work better without gloves, so that's why I am not using one because Edo is very milky kind of when you peel it. And sometimes it can scratch your fingers after you finish peeling them. But that's just a little tip for anyone who is new to Edo's. So after I finish peeling these, I'll show you the next step. So my Edo is nicely peeled and washed. And these are beautiful Edo's. You can tell from the way they look. I'm gonna go in and cut these Edo's now in small pieces so they can cook fast. So I'm gonna do about this big. And Edo's kind of starchy. And Edo's cook quickly just like a potato. We're gonna boil it the way we boil potatoes to make potato ball. Nice and soft. In some salted water. I'll cut these up and I'll show you the next step. I just added the edos to some boiling water. I'm gonna add some salt and cook them until they're nice and soft and tender. So let's check on our edos. And they look very nice and soft. I'm gonna strain these babies and we'll start mashing them. So while my edos are straining, I have my ingredients here, fresh ingredients, green onion, cilantro, green chili, mild red pepper they're very very mild just a little spike of heat some red onions and some garlic i'm gonna put these into my food processor and we're gonna finely chop them to add to our edos i will leave all the measurements and ingredients i'm using today in the description box below so before i add these to my food processor i'm gonna help to break them down a little and we're gonna add them to our food processor. Let me just cut up the onions. So my husband is a behind the scene helper who do my video, who help to chop vegetables sometimes and do some of the behind the scenes stuff. So it's a teamwork in my kitchen. The kids also help out and they are my 
taste testers too. So hubby is mashing the edos and you can see that they're nice and soft edos when they're finished cooking they always tend to have a little bit of a like a purple or like a light bluish what, what color would you say that is it's kind of a purple. yeah a, a kind of a purple color when it's finished but that's totally fine so i have all my ingredients here for the edo ball so i'm gonna do one edo egg ball and i have some cheese i has i have some pizza mozzarella and some mexican jalapeno so this is a spicy kind of cheese i'm gonna be adding some paprika some roasted ground jeera salt and i have my blended seasoning here and the mashed edo is looking very nice let me know in the comment if you ever had hot mashed edo with butter it used to be one of my favorite and hobby said that was one of his favorite too and if you add an egg into it it used to be a full meal so delicious and so filling so remember let your edo cool down before you start the mixture we're gonna go in with just a hint of roasted jeera or cumin and this is gonna add like an orty flavor to the edo ball we're gonna go in with our salt and you can always taste after you mix it up. And I'm gonna mix this in. So I divide the arrows into two parts and this one here, I'm gonna add my chili in here. I'm gonna go in with just about a teaspoon of the blended ingredients because this one I'm using to make the cheesy edo ball. And you want to go in with your hands and give it a nice mix because the edo is kind of soft. Once you flavor this up, it's going to be so delicious. And now I'm adding my cheese and we're going to make it nice and cheesy. The kids love when it have a lot of cheese and they take this for snack. The kids can take it to school for snack. They can, um, you can eat it anytime. I can eat this for breakfast. So we wanna mix up all that seasoning well. And we wanna make sure that the cheese is well distributed. And then what I'm gonna do here now, I'm just gonna make some little, to differentiate the cheese from the other one. We're gonna make them a little bit like this and flat so they're gonna be easy to fry and you can see the cheese there nice and it's gonna be very cheesy so I'm gonna put this back over here and then I'm gonna keep on making the cheesy ones you can see onions pepper everything but we didn't want to add too much seasoning to this batch because we don't want to take away from the cheesy flavor so now i'm gonna keep on going and then i'll show you once i finish doing all of this batch so here are my cheesy edo ball and now i'm gonna start into this batch here i'm gonna add more seasoning to this one because this is the plain edo ball and we want to mix all that ingredients in well so i'm flavoring this up a little bit differently from that one more ingredients and it smells so good oh my goodness if you ever had edo ball before please leave in a comment and let me know because this was a very very popular when i was younger i'm gonna go in with some more of that mixture and make sure that it's well flavored so they can be eaten on their own like that you don't need any sauce or any sour or anything like that but 
if you want like yours with it you can go ahead and have it so I'm gonna taste to see if there's enough salt mmm amazing flavor amazing but I want to add all the rest of the ingredients to make this as rich as possible and I just taste the exact thing my mom used to make that flavor is unique and once you try it back no matter how many years after it's the same beautiful flavor so I'm gonna go in now and I'll make off the one for the egg ball I have one boiled egg here I'm gonna go in and I'll do it just like when we're making potato egg ball or cassava egg ball and we're gonna wrap the egg with the Edo mixture and we will make sure that we cover the egg just hide the egg in there and this kind of job is a little bit messy on the hands but that's fine sometimes the messiest things are the nicest ones so that's what it is my Edo egg ball we're gonna take smaller portion and we're gonna make the Edo ball on its own like that it is very creamy and very delicious you can make whatever shape or how big you like to make them but this is as big as I will go with mine so I'm gonna continue to roll the rest off and I think I have enough here for my entire YouTube family and we have a variety of everybody's favorite so to fry our Edo ball cheesy Edo Edo egg ball I'm gonna use some quick mix polari flour I have a cup here and I'm gonna go in with some water and I'll make it a little bit on the sticky wet side and I'll use this as a batter to fry our Edo ball so instead of using flour and eggs we're gonna use the polari mix so it's gonna have a beautiful flavor from the polari quick mix so this is what our batter look like and this is everything that I have to fry now so we're gonna head on to the stove and we will start frying up it's Edo party tonight so we're gonna start frying the cheesy Edo first and I just coat this one we're gonna fry them until they have a nice golden color on both sides and they will be ready so don't cluster your pan when you're frying in this case it's my pot because you want them to fry properly and don't get too much oil into the to the batter mm -hmm, they're frying nicely look at that I just want to demonstrate a little bit this is our cheesy Edo ball I'm gonna go in into the batter and you just want to make sure that both sides are coated and just get out the excess and into the oil it goes simple and easy and it will be nice and delicious and the outer part will taste like a fried pilauri so I'm doing another one and this is for a vegetarian person if they want to make the Edo ball and you don't want to cook it with eggs on the outer layer you can use the Palau remix and this is a vegetarian version so I'm gonna put another one in here and then we'll let them fry show them these ones look how beautiful those ones are looking and I can't wait to dig into those come and get your fresh Edo ball Edo egg ball and cheesy Edo ball Guys, look how this is beautiful. I just made Edo very happy and proud today with making an Edo egg ball 
cheesy edo, a regular edo ball. I'm gonna dig in very soon and I have some mint chutney, hot pepper sauce and tamarind sauce. Mango sour will go very nice here as well, but I would like to change up my sauce a little. Before we move on to the taste test, I have a birthday shout out. Birthday greetings are going out to little Richie who is celebrating his sixth birthday today. Greetings are coming from his loving mom, Diane Wallace and his dad and four loving sister. We would also like to extend happy birthday greetings to him and hope he had a wonderful, wonderful day with many more blessed birthdays to come. So time to dig in. I'm gonna have to hide one, half of this, one of this and one of those ones for my Edo friend. So we have taste tester Matthew and he's gonna dig in for everything on the plate and let us know how it tastes. So Matthew, let me see what you're gonna go in for first. I'm gonna try this one first. The plain one? Yeah. So show them how nice it is on the inside. And then which sauce are you going for? I'm going to go in for some of the mint chutney. Okay. Because this is my favorite sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm, nice. Wow, the flavor is really good. It's really nice and flavorful. And it's super soft in the inside and kind of crunchy in the outside. Nice. So... so I'm gonna, right. next I'm gonna try some of the, the one with the egg inside. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in for some of the tamarind sauce now. So. It goes really well with the tamarind sauce because the tamarind sauce is a little bit sour. Mm -hmm. So it complements the egg and everything in there. And I really love the softness of the edo. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so you have one more to go. Look how nice and cheesy that one is. I'm gonna tr try this one alone. Yes, I think it should go alone because yeah. they don't go together. Wow, it's actually really cheesy and it tastes exactly like a potato. Oh, really? Yeah, the like edo. Like a cheesy potato? Yeah, it's really soft, the edo. Okay. Please like the video, please subscribe, and hope you enjoy the video. Bye. Bye for now.